to start things off, this will be the third and final video in this 3D graphics engine in Python series. Links to the first two parts will be in the description if you haven't watched those already. To start things off, I rewrote the entire graphics engine to be better suited to load .obj files. I probably could have just tweaked some code in my old graphics engine, but doing this helps me keep things nice and tidy so that I can edit the code easier. Upon running my code, the graphics engine started up perfectly fine. The one thing that needed lots of improvement was the movement controls. So I made it so that you have to hold a right click to rotate the camera and the scroll wheel zooms you in and out of the shape you are viewing. One thing this engine needs is some way to control settings so that you can view objects in your preferred way. So I made buttons that would allow you to control to render vertices, edges, and faces. Next, I added a way for you to control what shape you would like to view. This next change is credited to Matthew Garner, so thank you. I made a system so it translates .obj files into stuff that the graphics engine can read so you can load any 3D model onto this engine. The only fitting models to try onto this engine are obviously a tree, a hot dog, Shrek, and Harambe. The reason why I'm rendering faces using random colors instead of just one color is because if I render it using just one color, objects look like a character that you haven't unlocked yet in a video game. So credit to this person for giving me the idea of illuminating surfaces based on a light. Surfaces with a high poly count look really nice with this light source that I've added compared to just having a bunch of random colors. But without much control, the lighting in this wouldn't work for objects that are sometimes bigger than the light source can handle. So I created sliders that would be able to control the light's intensity, radius, and position. So you can make it look good on pretty much any surface. This is where I'm going to have to conclude the video, so if you want to check out this project for yourself, there will be a link in the description for a GitHub page with all of the code in it. And thank you everyone for giving me suggestions on what my next video should be, and thank you to everyone who supported me through this entire series.